I think we should plug our Christmas song. Because I think it's a really good Christmas song. I think it's really fun. And this is coming from some guys who listen to a lot of Christmas music. I think we have a good sense of like, what goes into a good Christmas song. Because I feel like a lot of people, especially like a lot of times in modern music, people, I mean it doesn't happen too often, but a lot it, often it does happen that people will make a Christmas song, but they'll miss certain elements and it doesn't feel like a Christmas song. The lyrics may be Christmas themed, but it doesn't have like the chimes or, I don't know, sometimes you'll just listen to, you know, songs and you're like, I guess they're talking about Christmas things, but it doesn't feel like Christmas. It should feel like Christmas and sound like Christmas even if you're just have it on in the background. Were you playing James Taylor the other day? Yeah. So I do like James Taylor Christmas album. Oftentimes you had that like blasting in the yard and I was, it was on and I was like, I feel just like I'm listening to a James Taylor album. I don't necessarily feel like it's a Christmas album. But I remember a few points stopping and thinking, this doesn't really sound like Christmas to me. Can we back up for a second? Sure. Because I'd like to, I'd like to take a moment here. Okay, okay, and, okay. And point out the fact that y what you're saying is you feel like we are better at Christmas music than James Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> of all people, be James Taylor. Okay, okay, okay. That's uh... <laughs> my point. All I was trying to say, I feel like you pinned me into this corner. I feel like all I was trying to say was, I think we have the elements there. And ours kind of feels like down home. Which I like too, because it feels, and it feels happy and energetic and full of cheer and joy, and it's got bells and jingles and jangles and I just like our Christmas song. Anyway, it's on Spotify. It's on here on YouTube. It's called Mountain Snow by Yours Truly, Matt Allison Blue Hamilton. We wrote it. We performed it. And, um, Speaking of perform, why don't you kick it up on the Bluetooth and, and perform a little line or two from it? Don't be shy. Oh, uh, but your phone is attached to the Bluetooth. Oh, then you don't even have to do anything but perform. I don't think... Starts falling, we're here to tap the halls. Play all the classics and break out the glasses, make a toast and hang some bulbs. It's warm inside and the tree is bright. String the lights and make them twinkle. One red, one green with the white and blue between. Getting down to Christmas jingles. I'll bake the cookie. I'll pick out the Watch for a sleigh in the sky Take a snowball to the head Then we'll crash off the sled And we'll laugh so hard that we cry Back inside, fire and rye Best gift is here by my side All alone, lights that glow At home in the mountain snow We took all the
Christmas, Merry Christmas. In honor what? Of us knowing good Christmas music, I think we should share with the people our Christmas soundtrack, which are the top Christmas albums that basically soundtrack our Christmas experience. The albums that um, that we listen to every year. Every year. Yeah, the ones that we, as soon as uh, the day after Thanksgiving hits, they start. We play most of our Christmas music on our vintage record player, vinyl, like a true record. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some of it we play on a Bluetooth. That's useful information, right? Because the crack of a record is nostalgic and it's cozy. It I, does get annoying sometimes though because you play it for 10, 15, 20 minutes and you gotta get up and flip it over. Oh, that is the thing about vinyl. Yeah. The constantly having to flip the record. I think that we should start at what is typically, at least for me, the... See, why do I even speak? <laughs> Sorry. Shut up, Lou. That's not... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sorry, Matt Dell is better than James Taylor would like to start the conversation. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, was there more to be said about that? Sorry. No, 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 no. Please take your time because this is very comfortable down here. <laughs> we are like the gods of uncomfortable everything. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable couch, uncomfortable floor. Our couch is so comfy. I guess if you're, the, you won't even sleep on it. What are you talking about? But I'm sleeping. We're not talking about a couch. We're talking about Christmas music. John Denver. Okay, that's not. Rocky really Mountain good. Christmas. All right, that's definitely a more. That's a, a definitely. A, uh, that is a good one, but that's definitely more you. <laughs> Still smells like fart over here. I did not fart. <laughs> it is definitely me, but it's not just me. What? That farted. No. Definitely you. <laughs> John Denver is you. But which John Denver? He has multiple Christmas albums. He has all of the Muppet. Right. The Muppets Christmas. But this, uh, the Rocky Mountain Christmas. It is. With Aspen Glow. I love Aspen Glow. That is the quintessential mm. Blue Hamilton Christmas album. First album of Christmas that gets played is Sheryl Crow, Home for the Holidays. No, Church. Home for Christmas. What is it? Home for Christmas. Cheryl has, I think, my favorite Christmas album of all time. <gasps> what a, a more me one. So you wouldn't have to go like this if you could see that. Christmas with the Judds. Oh, I love I mean, it. I grew up with that. I thought that vinyl is my parents' vinyl. I know, but it's like a warm Christmas blanket just wrapped around you. It feels so nostalgic and homey and cozy. Uh, another one would be uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. And that's an instrumental, like, right? So it's... Um, uh, it's not all instrumental. They have like a little choir or a chorus. Uh, but it is very people. like... But it's it's from the, the movie, right? So it's... It's very music. classic and nice and beautiful and also nostalgic. It's nostalgic for sure. Christmas with Ella and Louie. Ella. Ella, Ella. And this one is like a, um, this one's more like, I feel like most people would put this one on there, right? Because this has a lot of like, no? I don't, With you Ella, say most people, but I just, I feel like most people don't listen to Christmas music. I would disagree. You think? I think that, I think a lot no, of people I don't, listen to Christmas I don't think Christmas that, music. I think that people listen to Christmas music. I just don't think that people listen to Christmas music as much as we listen to Christmas music. Why do so we many- We don't listen to anything else during Christmas but Christmas music. But then I don't, I don't agree. I think most people do. I think that that's why so many people make Christmas albums. Did you listen to Christmas music at the gym? No. You did? At the gym? Cher just came out with a new Christmas album. Ow. So yeah, one that's me that I feel like Matt likes, he's just a little too good to admit it. And it's one of the Christmas albums that 
I don't know. It's nostalgic for me because I listened to it all the time when I was a teenager, but it's still, it you holds up. You were a teenager? Up. Yeah, my late teens. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's Hanson, snowed in. But it's like a fun, like rock pop energy, fun album. This one I think is more me too, maybe. Dolly Parton, Home for Christmas. Oh my gosh, Dolly Parton and Show, Show Crow both have albums named Home for Christmas. I feel like Mariah Carey is the queen of Christmas because of her song. song. But I feel like Dolly Parton is actually the queen of Christmas. She's got like 10 Christmas albums. She has so many and she's, and I, also, I feel like she encapsulates Christmas in just her, her whole MO. I don't care who you are, you're the top dolly. So, Dolly Parton, Home for Christmas. She's got, there's, this was a tough one because there were a lot of Dolly songs in that we listened to at Christmas time, but I think as an album, that is my favorite. That one, the Kenny Rogers, is a good one too. Hard Candy Christmas. All right, next. <laughs> I got this in my eye. Next, one of my very, very, very favorite Christmas albums. Okay. Cause we don't really listen to all that much, but it's actually a great series, or uh, I guess okay. it would be called a series. Very special Christmas. The first one, red cover. The Pointer Sisters. Uh, what else? Uh, the Rhythmics. Madonna. Um, Bob Seger, Whitney Houston, yeah, it's so good. Run DMC. There's yeah. so many great songs. Um, I think another maybe obvious one, but Andy Williams. It's a what is it? His is the Andy Williams Christmas album. That's a good one too. A lot of classics. A lot of them that you hear all everywhere, all the time. But it's still. It doesn't matter how many. Times but what's you hear the it. song? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, Home Alone soundtrack. The Home Alone which, soundtrack. Was more of a score, right? Okay, so on Spotify, I found there is this Home Alone score, which is on its own stand out, stand like great. But if there are the Home Alone full soundtracks, and they have a lot of the other songs that aren't just oh, the score. Oh, like because, Rockin' Around Christmas Tree. But also, that one's in there, and that, you can't have Home Alone without that song. Why are you facing me? I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like my ear, I'm going deaf in my ear because I'm a <laughs> so, Christmas remix. I think I'm down to just the me old too. dog. So, I'm never going to remember this whole name. Okay. This one's a little bit more obscure, but it has so many great remixes on it. It's Christmas, I gotta read it. Christmas Remixed Holiday Classics Regrouped. It's on Spotify, How but is this, so hard to remember? I don't know, because I was going to forget, but you introduced me to this, I don't know if intentionally, you put it on some Christmas list mix when we, a couple of the songs when we first started dating, and since then, I love it, because it's, it takes a lot of classic Christmas songs, and just remixes them, and makes them super them. fun. But it is a groovy, There's, it's groovy, but it's fun to like put on, it's like, the jungle, I love that album. In our house... Without a doubt, Christmas morning every year, there's only one, one record that gets played first, and then we move on. Yeah. And that is The King, Elvis Presley. Hog to the King. Merry Christmas. I didn't think you were going to finish it. I'm impressed. All right. Coagulated oat milk. Well, that was sweet. Oh, I thought we were getting up. Well, I have to pee so bad. That is a great list of Christmas albums. Uh, are we putting links in the description for people to, to find these albums? I don't know. I listen to all my music on Spotify. Well, we'll put the list anyways. In the we'll definitely put the list. But we'd also love to know, like, what are your go-to Christmas albums? Of course, we could have done songs, which would have been great. But I think albums are where it's at when it comes to Christmas. Because you got to be able to put an album on and listen to it in its entirety. And I just think that that's the way to do Christmas music. And these are some really great albums, but I would love to know if there's some that are that way for you. Let's share, let's like make a- Let's share. Let's share our Christmas albums and soundtracks and try and introduce each other to some new 
music. Let's talk about Cher for a minute because that was the topic of discussion. Like, oh, what about Cher's new album? <gasps> but Cher's and new album is super fun. It is super fun. But it's the first year and I feel like... She has to... I need to like... Is she, is she, er, is she needs to earn her place in our On the Christmas list. tradition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which she shares, she'll always have a place. All right, all right. Merry Christmas, y'all. Oh, I gotta go pee. Bye.